welcome back so we saw the docker command in the last video if we view our docker file we notice here that we pass to the wget command apart from these parameters we pass it this argument here yeah? we pass it uh, this argument to basically execute this and get the results from 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 from, from there right what if we want to pass it something else? What we want to what if we want to pass it a different uh, parameter or argument, right? This is what entry point help entry point helps us to do. Basically, uh, when we run the actual image, if you remember before, where's the command? When we run it, yeah. What if we want to? Um, where's my IP address one? Oh no, where is it gone? So earlier we said docker run my IP if you remember. Oh, did we docker run? Yeah, get my IP address. I'm sorry, get my IP address. And we said, you know, execute that and get the IP address. What if you want to do something like get my IP address and then say HTTP slash slash if config if config dot me slash you know if you look at the fconfig website fconfig.me website it gives you the IP address and information even about your, your operating system yeah and the web browser you're using so if we do fconfig.me slash ua be more specific and it gives us information about the web browser and about the operating system yeah what if we want to execute this instead of fconfig.me slash ip yeah so what if we want to do this? something like this slash ua if we do it now, it's it will not recognize it, but we're going to use um, the entry point command to be able to do that. So we go to the Docker file, and then we modify this in such a way that it accepts the argument that we're going to pass it. So we say instead of CMD, we say I'm sorry, entry point. I hope the idea is clear here. We just executing this command and we're passing it another argument so entry point execute wget with this option with this option I'm sorry with this option and stop here and then any argument we pass on the command line when we run the container will be appended to this command and then the w, w get command will get executed. Let's save, exit. So remember uh, when we did this, it, it, will, it will execute w get minus o minus space minus q. And then here something is missing, of course, the if config path is missing. We it will ex, it will append whatever we pass when we run the Docker container to this command, and then run it so basically entry point what it does it defines a base command and some parameters or options for the container and then the command line arguments that we pass will be appended to those parameters and uh, uh, the command will be executed entry point and command are similar in a way so they can appear anywhere in, in, the, in, the, in the docker file but they always replace the previous ones so we can effectively only use them once let's build the image again now so we say docker build i'm sorry docker build uh, minus t maybe so we replace the previous one okay get my ip address dot so it's telling me that it was built if i do docker images it will tell me it was only built five seconds ago and now i can say docker docker run uh and what what do we call it we called we called it get my IP. If I don't pass anything, it complains, so I need to pass it HTTP if config.me slash UA and it will get information about the operating system if um, my, about the agent in general. If I give it minus IP, it'll give me the IP address. As you can see, it's appending this argument to the wget command and execute it. Execute it. One, two, three, let's give it a bit of time to get the IP address yep there you go in fact if we go back there should be more information about how to use this command 
So if we use, for example, lang, give us the language of port, give us the port number, host, or let's use, for example, something like host, yeah? So let's pass something about the host. See if we can customize that command as we want. All right, hope that idea makes sense. Slight difference between CMD and entry point, entry point, but they're really, really useful when we want to run some default commands and give them different arguments to give pass different arguments to those commands. Yep, let's give it a bit of time. Come on, wake up, please. Dun, 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 dun. One, two, three, and hopefully it shouldn't take too long. Otherwise, we can always leave it. And by the way, we can use command CMD and entry point together. In the next video, we're going to explain that. I don't know why this is taking too long, so let me stop it. You can try it yourself if you have time, wait for it, and then hopefully you'll see useful results. So let's stop it here. Control C. Doesn't even want to stop for some reason. But anyway, I hope the idea makes sense. Let me stop here and I'll see you in the next video.